Uh, well, thank you for having me today. And um, I really feel that everybody should be ambassador of peace, not just one person. Because peace is fundamentally important to all of us. And we should all try to be that person who is concerned about peace. Not only personal peace, world peace, social peace, peace in villages, peace in towns, peace in cities. Because without that peace, without that foundation, this building will fall. First earthquake and it starts to fall. And everybody goes, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. This is a delicate situation. But we got there somehow. Something happened that got us to that delicate situation. And we don't look at those things. Ambassador of peace really means to be a person who really wants peace for everyone, for everyone. There is a beautiful saying in um, Egyptian mythology that when you die, you will come to this, finally come to this gate, and you will be asked this question. And the question is, do you have peace, and did you help others achieve peace? And if you can say yes to both of those, you can come in. And I really like that analogy, because it's really saying that you have to have peace, and can you help other people also achieve that peace? And that's what ambassador of peace is, and everybody should be ambassador of peace. The enemies of peace have always been the same. It's anger, fear, greed, lust, misunderstanding, doubt. These are the things that are enemies of peace. When they start to form, when they start to come and become our rulers, we no longer can have peace. And if you want peace, this is what you have to remove from your life. The question is, and I get asked this a lot, why are our basic needs not covered? Because the earth produces the food. It's not like somebody goes into a machine and pushes buttons, I want wheat. No, earth produces the wheat. Earth produces the gold. Earth produces the diamonds. Earth produces the minerals. Earth produces everything. It's free. It comes from the earth. So why are people's basic needs not met? Greed. Greed. Me, 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 me. One of the hallmarks of 1970s was that it was the first generation which was called the me generation. Everything is about me, not about other people. We need not to be looking at ourselves with the eyes of the greed. We need to be looking at ourselves with the eyes of clarity, of understanding, of who we are. We are human beings. We naturally like to share. When a beautiful song that we like comes on a radio, or we're listening to music and it comes on, what do we do? We turn up the volume. We want, we want to share. But when we lose ourselves, we no longer want to share. Me, me, me. These are the reasons why the basic needs are not met. And if the basic needs are not met, people will be struggling for the basic needs and not aspire towards peace. The first step is to understand who we are. Know thyself. Socrates said that. Know thyself. If we do not know who we are, we don't know how should we act, what our feelings should be, what our understanding should be, what does clarity look like, what does peace look like, because peace comes from inside of you. You already have peace. You don't have to manufacture peace. This is the beautiful thing. If we had to manufacture peace, if the peace came from somewhere on top of a mountain, we are in trouble. But peace is possible because everybody already has peace. We have to discover it. It's already there. We have to discover it. 
And that's what it takes. That's what it takes. Same, that have always been there, always. Greed, misunderstanding, doubt, fear, fear. We are afraid of everything. We are, we are afraid to change. We don't like changes. Life gives us an opportunity to change. We think change is challenging. Why is it challenging? It's because we're afraid. What will happen? Oh my God, will I be the same? I like myself the way I am. But what if that change brought you something that was so beautiful? And to change doesn't have to be on the outside. The change needs to be on the inside. And these are the obstacles that have always been there. Always, 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 always. It's the same. It's the same everywhere. I have a little analogy. If a person closed the car door on their finger in 1949, in 1959, 69, 79, 89, now of course the cars have changed. But will the finger getting closed in the door hurt any different? No, because you are human human being. It's not the car. It's not the door. We think, oh, it's the car. It's the door. No, it's the human. What is the human being really like? And the human being wants peace. Human being wants to feel happy. This is what human beings want. It's, people say, we are not born with an instruction manual. I agree. We are not born with an instruction manual, but we are born with fundamental likes and dislikes. We don't like anger because of the way it makes us feel. We like peace, we like love, we like understanding. I mean, that's what friendship is about. People, the group of people who understands us, we call them friends. People who don't understand us, we call them enemies. <laughs> and so this is, this is what it's about. Yes, absolutely. If you look at the history, same things have happened, same things have happened again and again and again. We find ourselves in a different world today because we think technology has made this world different. It is true. But lift the cover and you will find everything is exactly the same way. Our greed has not gone away. Just because we have phones, our greed has not gone away. We have phones, we still don't know what to say. Just because we have a phone, we still don't know what to say. What is the meaningful thing to say? Do we, have we still learned that when a father picks up the phone and is talking to his son, that the first thing he needs to tell his son, his daughter, his wife, his family, is I love you. No, it's like, ay, 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 you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you didn't do this, you got to do this, you got to do Same thing. So what has changed? You look at all the technology. It is supposed to have made our lives easier. Cities are full of traffic jam. And everybody is upset. What has become easy? Now, there was a time where you weren't bothered. You could go somewhere where you weren't bothered. But now, wherever you go, your phone goes with you, and you are being bothered. Bing, 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 bing. Airplane, turn your phone off. Auditoriums, turn your phone off. You go somewhere, and you have guests in your house, and all their phones are going off. And if they have the same ringtone as you, you're going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's going crazy. So we have to look at a human being first, not technology, human being first. And when the human being is good and intact and whole, then the technology can come in and augment, help. But when technology is one and human being is being forgotten, you have a problem. I've been traveling since I was very young. 
and uh, I like to go to places, but it is not the places. For me, it's very different because if I go to England, I'm not going to see the Buckingham Palace, even though I love the Queen. I'm going to see people of England. When I go to India, I don't go sightseeing. I go to see the people of India. So my attraction when I go to these countries is very different. I'm going there to see people who are interested in peace. And of course, this is what I have been doing since then, going from country to country to country and addressing those people who are interested in peace. I'm going to be going to India soon and then after India I have all these other places that have sent me invitations. And I look forward to that because to me that is what I want everybody to be, is to talking about peace, discussing peace, and not only that, feeling peace in their lives. What still surprises me is how darkness, how ignorance can influence people. Once you think, oh, this is as bad as it gets, no, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse. What is happening to the refugees? What is happening in, to simple people who have done nothing wrong? What is happening to them? The innocent people. And with all our learnings, with knowing the history, they're still being treated the same way. This never stops surprising me. Also, that in the middle of this darkness, how much kindness there is, how much caring there is, that there are good people. And they shine in this dark, dark ocean. They shine. This also does not end up ever surprising me. Well, uh, I have a lot of, lot of favorite books and I like to pick them up and read them and one of my favorite books of course is the one which is um, the STA or in Spain is being released as uh, When the Desert Blooms because even I like to read it. Even though I wrote it, I would like to read it because it reminds me of those simple things that I need every single day. And besides that, uh, my favorite book is about computers. I like to study. I used to do programming a long time ago. I had the first Apple. So I, I, I like to study that. My TV series, I can't really, because I travel so much, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> but uh, there, are, there are many, many series. Whatever is available, I'll maybe watch it if I have time. The movie, uh, this is very interesting because uh, there are some really, 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 really good movies. But movies that give hope, Me movies that give some kind of a message, not just shoot out, bang, bang, you know, we kill, we, how, we can kill better. Almost that game mentality these days. No, not that mentality, but a mentality of movies that give hope. I really like movies that do that, give some insight into, into, into that. <laughs> right now I'm listening to Santana quite a bit. I, 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 I really like the old, uh, the, because when I came to the West, that's what I, was my first exposure to Western music was Santana. I was like, oh, okay. Comic I dropped a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not really a video game, but I have it on my computer. I like to play chess. <laughs>